We have come to observe and celebrate an epic occasion. This is an event we have eagerly anticipated. We are assembled to observe the start of the next chapter of the plan God ordained for David and Nicole. David, our time is now. I am so super excited about this day. For years you have been a trusted friend, wise, wise advisor, advisor, amazing, amazing co-parent, and, and blessing, blessing from God. God. Today you become my husband. I am so blessed to have a man that I know will cover me in every way. Your spiritual provision for our family and us as a couple excites me most. What man actually develops and writes out foundational principles for us to live by? Mine does. Our foundational principles for our marriage. The first one is to wholeheartedly pursue God and to keep Him first. The second one is to intentionally value your spouse's needs above your own. The third one is to actively love each other daily and to speak your spouse's love language. And the fourth one is to always believe the best in all situations. I plan to spend the rest of my life governing myself by them. My heart is so overwhelmed this morning. See you at the altar. See you at the altar. See you at the altar. <laughs> Nicole, our day has finally come. I'm so honored and grateful to share this day with the love of my life. I love you with the very best of me and with all of my heart. My faith in God, my faith in you, and my faith in us together makes our love so strong. And today, we blend our lives into one, sealed by God's covenant. I pray that we never take our bond for granted and that our marriage is ultimately an expression of God's unfailing love. From this day, From this forward, day forward, my heart is committed, is committed to, to loving you as, as Christ, Christ loves us. Loves us DT. DT. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this day. It is our reminder that your compassions never fail your mercies are new every morning. We rejoice and are glad, not only because you made this day, but because you blessed us to see the union of two of your children, David and Nicole. Father, we ask you to complete the work you began by giving us this day. Bless this occasion. Let it be a reminder of what you can do for those who put their trust in you. Let everything we say and do bring glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, amen. To David. You may kiss your bride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, this chick here. <laughs> when I first met her, uh, they were like, I got a new girlfriend. And I'm like, who your girlfriend, man? Who your girlfriend? This was in high school. Nicole, Nicole, who is this Nicole? Met her in Marching Man, and everybody know the Marching Man is like that. We strong, goes real high, we used to pump. But this chick, yeah, I used to look back and she was, she was not playing. She was faking. 
And I used to give her a hard time. I used to give her a hard time. Get away, man. Leave my brother alone. You don't need to leave him alone. Get out of here. No, you all right, Terrence. You all right. No, get away from me. I leave her like this. She was like a nagging fly. But she turned out to be a beautiful butterfly. I give it to her. Hey, she's okay. Welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome to the family. It takes strong... special individual. be able to teach while they're still learning. Yes. Never have I seen such a perfect example set from what some may call an imperfect um, situation and an imperfect beginning. So I just wish them the best and I know they'll have it because they put God first and they taught me to do the same thing. The best way to live alone less than marriage is to stay married. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 That's actually very deep. If you sit there and think about it, hey, that's some real deep stuff. <laughs> I can't thank her enough for being who she is. She is truly a virtuous woman. That's an amazing, amazing woman. And I'm looking forward to loving her with the best of me. <laughs>